America's Got Talent honored late contestant Drive. Brandon Rogers on Tuesday's episode, nearly one month after the 29-year-old died in a fatal car accident in June. At the request of his family we would like to honor his memory by sharing his audition with you, the NBC show said in a statement before airing Rogers' appearance. The Portsmouth, Virginia, native, who practiced family medicine, sang a beautiful rendition of Stevie Wonder's 1995 classic Ribbon in the Sky for judges Simon Cowell, Heidi Klum, Mel B and Howie Mandel. Before his soulful performance that earned four yeses, Rogers explained the heartwarming reason he became a doctor and put his dreams of singing on hold. My inspiration for becoming a doctor was kind of born out of a pretty tough experience when I was six years old when I came home from school one day and found my mom laying in a pool of blood, he recalled. We rushed her to the hospital, the doctors were like heroes. They saved her life and it made me want to be the doctor that I am today. I feel like I'm in a field where I'm actually making a difference, and there can be some tough days too he added. My way to cope with the stress has always been music. If I could find a way to combine being a doctor in medicine with music and singing that would be a dream come true. People learned in June that Rogers was involved in a car accident in Maryland and passed away one day later. The aspiring singer was discovered by producers from the reality competition series when they saw him on Instagram covering boys to men's on bended knee. After learning about his passing, Boys to Men took to their official Instagram account to express their condolences on his passing. Friends and family who were close to Brandon mourned his passing on social media to express their condolences over his passing and pay tribute to their friend and loved one.